Hello there, everybody. Dingo Crash here, and today we're heading into the Piranha Lake. So, um, well, <laughs> well, I will let I will need to let uh, Bentley talk first. Sly, the only way to open up that voodoo gate is by lighting all 25 tiki torches with the flamethrower on your swamp skiff. Use the left analog stick to steer and press the X button to fire the flamethrower. Oh, and one more thing. You need fuel from the flamethrower, and the only source of oil are those piranha you see swimming around. Run them down with a boat. One fish fuels one shot. Hurry, you only have two minutes to get all the torches lit. All right, so <clears throat> we're visiting. Sorry for coughing. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of just sick a little bit, you know. Um, so technically we're visiting one of these like really easy stages to really do. Um, I find these stages to be really, really easy. It's just that, um, well, sometimes it can be really annoying because you won't catch the piranhas in time and you will have to refuel. Well, you only have five spots, five like pretty much five spots in order to actually uh, fuel uh, your boat. Now, um, I'm not sure if I talked about this in the previous part or not, but like there, there is many video games, many, many platformers that at the beginning they seem to be very. To, in the beginning they seem to be very difficult, but it was not the case with Sly One. I, I think that Sly 1's difficulty is really, I guess, between medium to easy. Like, it, it is not too difficult. It, it, it's very easy to figure out, you know, the controls, what to do, where to find things out. It's, it's, a, very simplist, it's a very simplistic uh, concept for a platformer. And compared to classic video games that, like, I don't know, probably even Sonic the Hedgehog, I would say, and some other classic uh, video games that were in like Sega and uh, Nintendo. And even Crash Bandicoot 1 was difficult. I mean, <clears throat> at the time, Crash Bandicoot 1, I, I really think that was the difficultest, uh, one of the difficult games that's out there. And right now we're gonna jump out of jump out of the boat and get our second key. <coughs> Which right now we've got three keys in our hands. And um, <coughs> right now, since we've got three keys in our hands, uh, we're gonna open a certain gate that will help us uh, reach out our next area. Which is right here. Let's open the gate. Watch out, guys. It's gonna be dangerous. Very dangerous indeed. Now, pretty much that area was actually locked, but that uh, sea monster helped us um, to actually, you know, get our way through that. Because, as you can see, this is there is like a. Uh, magic uh, trap whatever uh, blocking kind of thing Looks there. like this is some kind of giant voodoo egg beater to stir up that unsanitary mess. If I can unlock the cauldron's lid, I might be able to thrash their production and build up enough steam pressure to get launched up to Ruby Skull Temple. Okay, sounds like we've got a plan. To get around that thing, try moving in the shadows made by the masks so that the guards won't see you. All right, so yeah, pretty much we we need to be careful so the guards won't see us. Um, so yeah, in the next part we're actually heading into descent, descent, uh, into danger. Sorry, yeah, um, 
<laughs> my English is kind of bad. Don't forget I'm from Israel, so when I'm reading some things, it's, it might be sounding a little off, but you already know it's written, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to drop a comment and a like and subscribe if you haven't, and we shall see you in the next horrifying part of Sly Cooper. So thanks for watching, guys, and goodbye.